Skyrim just got a new update, and this is going to be a big one. As what this is going to do is fix an issue causing PC players to crash when entering the Coalborn Barrow and the Dawnstar Museum. I know, it's absolutely massive, game-changing change, and no, I'm not joking, that is actually the entirety of this update. So for a bit of context as to what's going on here, why did Bethesda just release this update with literally one line? And as it is mentioned in the patch notes, this is only for PC players, so if you're on consoles, you shouldn't have any updates being sent to the game. Game. But basically, around three weeks ago, they actually did release a fairly large-scale update for Skyrim slash Skyrim Anniversary Edition, this fixing the zero kilobyte issue, that predominantly impacting PS players. Well, when they actually shipped that update, they did a bit of an oopsie, and modders and players were pretty quick to recognize this, as two texture files got corrupted with the distribution of that update on PC, or at least on PC, on Steam, and the Microsoft Store. So what this meant was, if you went to the Barrow, if you went to the Mythic Dawn Museum, there was a pretty high likelihood that you would just crash, a crash a desktop from the game, because it was trying to and failing to load a corrupted texture. Or sometimes you actually wouldn't crash, you just have one really messed up texture. So modders realized this almost immediately, and there was actually a mod fixing this crash two days after the update went live, and even Bethesda caught on pretty quickly as they did post a message about this three days after that update did go live, but more or less, we are getting an update now to address the issue with the past update from three weeks ago. Otherwise, there isn't actually any new content. And this probably isn't the last one, or it may not be the last one, depending on how things go going forward. As I mentioned before, the last major update before this one was an attempt to address the zero kilobyte bug for PlayStation users, or that is most popular with PlayStation users, basically making it so at one point you just can't save the game anymore, functionally making the game unplayable. For the vast majority of players, that was successfully fixed with the last update, but some people people are still getting the issue. So we may see yet another Skyrim patch at some point in the next month or two, there really isn't a time frame, but something that should hopefully more concretely address this. As even with the last patch, Bethesda did say, while this should help mitigate cases, we are still investigating and working on a more comprehensive fix. This being relevant because this update and whatever next update we get do break some mods for PC players. This because the script extender does break, so as you go to launch Skyrim, after you heavily mod it, you'll get this error. At the time of filming, script extender has not yet been updated, they are typically very quick about updating in the first 24 hours to 48 hours at the longest, with this being such a simple update. Hopefully it's sooner rather than later, perhaps even later today, or alternatively you can use one of the downgrade patchers to downgrade your version of Skyrim. There's actually a couple of options out there now, and this will revert the version so you will be able to play again. This thing's updated like within an hour, which is absolutely phenomenal. As far as the status of Skyrim Anniversary Edition overall, we have seen this more gradual transition to it, as more and more mods are slowly getting updated to work with the new version of the game, although there still are a healthy amount that are aren't currently updated. There's this SKSE64 plugin status list that does show really nicely what has been updated, what hasn't been updated. But just in general, with this anniversary edition update, Skyrim has been booming. It's the 23rd most played game on Xbox right now, which is above a lot of other very relevant games. Actually, basically all of the other Bethesda releases, ESO, Fallout 4, Fallout 76, all have notably less players than Skyrim. Obviously, Skyrim being by far the oldest of the bunch. And if you look at Steam, it actually has about 10,000 more average players for the end of 2021 compared to the end of 2020. Skyrim's doing great. There are a ton of people playing it, a ton of amazing mods being worked on and released. And you have to imagine this anniversary edition is really what's to blame for this most recent bump, although Skyrim definitely has this unprecedented staying power. With that said, I'm going to have some more Skyrim content on the way, a look at some of the more recent released mods, but then also the top mods of 2021, if you perhaps weren't following things too closely. So if you do want to get subscribed, but otherwise that is your minor update for Skyrim and what exactly was changed that whole one line of patch notes that did unfortunately break mods as always again I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope to see you all next time later